as you saw the pictures at the bottom right of your screen at home or bottom left if you're watching there was chaos obviously we heard earlier from our senior reporter vanessa puna that water cannons were fired against the EFF protesters, stun grenades were used by the police and as far as the protesters was concerned, some of the pictures which we saw a short while ago and I think we've got them ready we'll, as our reporter Vanessa Puna stands by to speak to us. Vanessa, we saw that there's been some um, touch and go with regards to the media and the police. We, I think we heard the police say that the media are provoking the EFF protesters and vice versa. We heard some media say, no, 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 we're here doing our jobs. We're here to cover a story. You are the ones causing all this havoc. Indeed, uh, and a short while ago, quite a heated discussion with some members of the media and police. Because what had happened was, uh, we understand that there are some uh, plainclothes policemen uh, and among the, uh, the crowd here, and what uh, some of the members of the EFF saw was uh, a firearm. And then, of course, there was a whole confusion about where the members of the media were indeed armed. And we, of course, telling the police as well as uh, the EFF members that we are here on the front lines doing our jobs, reporting uh, on a, a protest actually of course and um, there are still some altercations going on the police had asked the uh, media to move away from the line uh, we are trying to do just that uh, but the group of EFF supporters who were sitting down a short while ago uh, have started rising again uh, and it looks at this point in time as though some of the marshals of the EFF are, are trying to maintain some sort of a line you'll see uh, those members with their bibs uh, they are trying to maintain a line uh, so as uh, the others at the back are not uh, so the, the others at the back do not breach um, this line. There are members here, as you can see behind me, uh, of public order policing, uh, uh, armed with uh, the uh, shields and so on, uh, keeping a close watch on uh, what is taking place here at the moment. This protest, of course, um, has uh, uh, brought uh, quite a number of people, residents of Brock and Far, uh, as well as another political party, uh, the Kai Party, also to the streets uh, today. Uh, the situation at this point in time uh, uh, seems quite volatile. Uh, police are also having words with members of the media as we try and bring uh, the situation and what's happening on the ground here at Babel alive to our viewers uh, on SABC News. But of course, behind me, you'll see uh, that uh, the crowd of EVH supporters uh, has not diminished. As a matter of fact, uh, numbers seem to be swelling to over five, six hundred at the moment. Uh, if uh, uh, I can just give you an, a rough estimate. Uh, and these visuals you see at the moment uh, are those very supporters that have come out uh, against what they call racism, not just in Brock and Follow at the high school, uh, but what some of them says is institutionalized racism as uh, still uh, happening in South Africa. Mm. Vanessa, obviously intelligence with the police, they would say, look, we have to have people within the crowd, but that's a big mistake, isn't it? In particular, once arms are seen by those people of the EFF because they went there and if I'm correct, if I heard them right, they did implore their members not to go there armed, calling it a peaceful march. So that must have caused quite a furor as far as the leadership. You saw some of the leadership of the EFF in your pictures. What are they saying uh, with regards to that, to the police? Well, members of the EFF have been telling us uh, since uh, the stun grenades were fired off a short while ago, as well as the water cannon used, they are insisting that they indeed have been provoked by police. Um, my Campbell colleague Clinton Serve had quite a rough time of it just now, saying uh, that he almost came under, uh, under some kind of attack himself uh, in that scuffle between police, uh, members of the EFF and the media trying uh, to bring coverage. Um, the EFF has been uh, very vocal about uh, being maintaining uh, what they call uh, order. They've asked uh, their members uh, to have high moral and high discipline is what I've heard a short while ago. Um, uh, some of them then sitting down on the tarmac here on the roadside and at the moment all standing again in anticipation I would assume uh, of uh, the march due to get underway. Uh, but the singing and chanting uh, of the EFF uh, is continuing and the message here is a very strong one. They are not going to back down on the planned protest. Uh, to Brocken for high school here today. Mm. And it's a show of force they're showing there, Vanessa, in particular because a lot of people we saw on uh, many platforms, a lot of people saying they were embarrassed 
when they were beaten up by uh, in that previous two weeks ago or when they were assaulted. Let me, let me correct that. When they were attacked and assaulted by the residents of the area, a show of force there by the EFF, they did promise that they would return to Brackenfell and stand their ground. Yes, indeed, that is what the EFF has vowed to do. They have vowed to come back here to Brockenfell at the time uh, when they uh, came to blows with members of the community two Mondays ago. Uh, when, when they initially first protested outside the school, um, some of them said that they were indeed being brutalized uh, because at that time they had staged a peaceful protest uh, and they were met with, with resistance. And I see some people moving uh, away. I'm just trying to follow. Uh, to see exactly what is taking place. The masses uh, are still behind me, uh, but we're trying to ascertain um, what is happening. It looks to be like some uh, leadership members of the, of the EFF are uh, about to engage with police on the other side. I'll ask my co colleague Clinton Surf uh, to walk with us in the background there. Of course, you'll see uh, the Metro Police uh, Water Cannon as well as a number of police vehicles here. Yeah, I'm trying to make my way across uh, to hear exactly what is being said uh, at this meeting with some of the leadership of the EFF uh, as well as uh, the police and I'll try and get the microphone in there so that we can uh, hear exactly what they are saying at this point in time. We're going to hand over the Miranda and, uh, and, and, then, uh, and then the stage. So once we are ready, we spoken to this gentleman here. Once we are ready, we are going to move there peacefully up until to a track where we hand over the memorandum and, and we do everything there and then we are done. So we want to agree on to that process. Now that. you see, this is where there is confusion now. The last discussion I had with Mr. Trejo, the truck is going to be moved from there from where it is the at bucket, the school the bucket, guys, please. and the truck is coming here to the initial point where you'll be holding your activities because remember in terms of the agreement 100 persons are marching from here to the school that is the that is the agreement that was reached that was signed for by mr Kleho as the convener of the organization so you are coming here now mr damini with conflicting uh, okay from what that. So, me and so, you yes, so, so what you need to do, me and you want to make sure that we find the, the right way of doing this thing so that there's no agitation because now we agreed that we're going to assemble here. Yes. And your guys when we assemble here, they started to stand grenades and all those things. We are, we, are, we are not there now. We are trying to make sure that we've got a peaceful day and we get this thing done in, in, in that format. So with your escort, with your police, we're going to move all of us the track and then we're going to address there and then once we're done with our business and then that's it. that's what we're, that's what i'm saying that's why we're engaging with you as the senior leaders of the organization to say let's run this thing in a peaceful way so that we can manage our people because shooting at each other and running around is going but to the truck is, is going to come here no the truck is there no, the truck is there that's that's where that's that's the agreement of where the truck is at the school no 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 it's on the it's on the side of the school it's on this straight line we have moved it from where it was at the gate. So it's on this line, just adjacent the school. That's where no, that was not the agreement, sir. The agreement with Mr. Tejo was the truck is coming from the school up until this point. And if you are going to go to the school, the 100 participants as agreed upon will but, march from but, here but, but to you, the school. But, but you agree that that's why your guys, there is them who even no, showed us where to park, no, to park the truck. No, sir. Not in Paradise Road. There was no agreement about Paradise Road. Oh, no agreement that our truck must be there. The truck was going to come here to the initial point. No, no, that's because not. Because remember, only 100 can march from here. There's not going to be this amount of people that's here now. It's not going down there. The agreed upon amount of 100, that is what's going to leave from here. Nothing else. That is what was agreed so, on and but, signed but for. That, but that's why I'm saying we've got, we got to find each other. Because when you're saying 100, then we're going to complicate things. I'm saying you are here, you've got your, 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 your manpower here. Mm. So what we need to do, we are, all, we are already on the ground now. Mm. Can we try to find each other to manage the situation of the ground rather than to go back to the public administration? We, we are here on the ground now. Because for you to start getting into the hundreds, we are saying to you, we have moved even from the school. The truck is uh, on the other side. That's where we're going to go and address and, and, and get to that. Mr. Because then we, it's going to be run around the whole day and we don't want to do that. That's why no, nobody's going to run around. 
That's why we're engaging you in leadership. No, but your people have started shooting at our people. No, sir. For, for no reason. Because no, we no, agree no, that no. you're going to assembly. No, it has happened. And well, that's why we're engaging you to say, let's try to do this thing in an orderly manner. There is no crisis. Your people are here. We move into the truck. That's why we address. But not there's the school. And from there, and from there, we're done. The agreement was, and this is the conditions of the permit, you gather here. From here, 100 people move to the school to hand over the memorandum. So what's going to happen? You're going to the rest of release. the people remain here. So that you, is why... So you're, going to work with the, uh, so you're going to work with the list instead of just allowing people so that you can calm the situation because you are the one who's managing. You are on the ground with yourself to, to manage the situation. That's why I was saying, let's try to find each other because if once you start getting the list, even that list of 100, we are here now. The, the people are here saying, you are police and your, yours is to make sure that you manage the, the situation in a way that is peaceful and everything is done. That's what I'm saying yeah. to you. When you have the 100 ready and you say to me, we are here, we are ready, we're going to move. We will escort you, we take you down, you do what must be done. The overflow, any more than the 100 remains here. We are not going to allow people to come from here any further, only the 100 as per agreed on. That is what we agreed on in meetings, sir. You were not in this meeting. The convener is the person that's going to be held responsible because he was the one who agreed on these terms. And that is the police's so, so, position. So we don't want us to negotiate with you to find each other in a proper way of doing this thing. This I, know, is, I know what you... This is the I police's know, I position. I was not part of the, of, the, of the meeting. So, so how are we going to deal with the 100? Because when you say to me, you have your 100, you are ready, you are going to ready to move, I will come, my people will escort the 100, we will go, we will make sure the 100 who moves, moves in safety because we are not only here for you, we are here to protect everybody and make sure nothing untoward happens in Drakenfeld today. If you tell me this 100 is ready, we are ready, we go, we move, we do what must be done, we bring the 100 back. The rest, but anything but over that remains. Think of what you said because we're trying to manage a situation here. Yes, that sir. your guys have already provoked us, no, which sir. was unnecessary because on the same thing that you're talking about, I know I did not any person. Then, uh, Let's what, just stick to the rules. I think if we stick to the rules that was agreed upon, this thing will go smooth. It will be fine. We shouldn't have any problems. That is the position of the. We'll, 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 we'll communicate. This gentleman is here with us on the ground. So we're going to be liaising with him as well. That will also be fine, sir. Mr. Marshall, are you going to address the media at any point? Only allow one well, Vanessa, we heard the uh, Marshal Damini, who is Secretary General of the EFF, imploring the police to let more members go through. That has been the sticky situation, as you've laid out for us here, uh, Vanessa, that there is more than 100 EFF supporters or members there. And possibly that's how this altercation started, with more members anticipated by the police uh, rocking up to the march or this protest. Vanessa, are you still there? Okay, we seem to have lost our comms there with our senior reporter, Vanessa Puna. Uh, we'll try and establish those again. As you heard, there, as I said, there was Marshal Damini, who is Secretary General of the Economics Freedom Fighters. They're speaking to the police. You heard the, the police unwavering, unmoved, saying that not more than 100 members will march to the school where they expect to hand over that memorandum. Marshal Zamini, SG of the AFF, saying, look, we've got more people on the ground, as you see. Can you work with us? How can we make this, you know, work? We've got too many people who are already agitated because they'd had water cannons, stun grenades, and the likes fired upon them, rubber bullets, earlier this morning. As it stands, can you work with us in terms of calling off the streets, fixing up the situation, and let us march towards the stage where obviously that set up to hand over the memorandum to Brackenfeld um, or whoever the person will be at Brackenfeld to receive the memorandum from the EFF and the police there you heard uncategor uncategorically unwavering saying look whatever you say during the meetings ahead of this march you were told only 100 members of the EFF will march to the school 
get on to that particular stage and hand over the memorandum. And it seems like our reporter Vanessa Puna is back with us. Vanessa Puna, welcome back. I understand we, broke, we lost the comms there a little bit. But um, we heard Marshal Zamini there, Secretary General of the EFF, imploring the police to let those people march. And I was saying, I think you, because you're off comms, you didn't hear me, maybe this is how it started off. You were lamenting that the numbers are growing. It's more than 100. In fact, an hour ago, you said about 500. And you were saying a short while ago, that number has since grown as well. Yes, indeed, and I think that is the bone of contention, as you've heard there just now with Mr. Lamini, as well as a member of the Public Order Policing, uh, Colonel Prince. The, the issue is that it seems as though the EFF leadership wants the entire group uh, to move past this point towards the school. Uh, but, of course, the conditions of the permit, as has been spelled out by Pops once again, allows only 100 uh, people to go to the school to hand over the memorandum. Now, uh, they have been asked to come back to, to the members to explain to them that only those 100 members will be allowed and will be escorted by police and of course those discussions if I can just step out of shot for a second uh, seem to be carrying on at the moment uh, police still maintaining their, uh, their line here and of course at the moment uh, the members of the EFF uh, are being uh, some of them are being uh, still chanting and singing and others are discussing uh, among themselves on the telephones etc yeah. I suppose uh, to get uh, uh, some clarity in terms of their way forward now. Yeah. Um, earlier on, uh, they were accusing uh, police uh, of, uh, of being heavy-handed, of provoking them, uh, saying that they've come here peacefully. And of course, we saw that scuffle just now with members of the media, uh, police as well as the EFF members as well. Uh, some confusion around uh, people allegedly being armed. Uh, the situation calmed down considerably now from what it was a short while ago. Uh, we, of course, are still on the ground here to bring you uh, the latest updates uh, as and when it happens. Uh, and I've mentioned earlier on, and I'll tell you again, uh, for those viewers who are only just joining us, a strong police presence, uh, as well as members of the law enforcement, uh, traffic police, etc., are monitoring uh, uh, roads leading to Bracken for High School, all the, the side roads, the main intersection at France Conradi over in front of me. Uh, the water cannon is parked there at the moment. And all along the road, we see vehicles uh, from law enforcement as well as police uh, members on the ground, members of POPs are maintaining their line here uh, as uh, the crowd of EVF supporters are yes. uh, growing indeed and gathered here uh, now ahead of that uh, planned uh, march or protest outside the school. It's just gone 20, well, three minutes past 11 and they're scheduled to start, uh, that those hundred protesters are, are scheduled to start at 12 o'clock uh, with the proceedings to hand yes. over that memorandum uh, to the school. Yes, Vanessa, as you can see at the back of your, in fact, in your picture there, I think uh, in shot right now, Marshal Zamini, the SG of the EFF, on the phone. Uh, I know it's a bit tough, especially on the ground, so we'd like for you to be as safe as possible. If perhaps he does speak to his members, address them, it'll be a headache, wouldn't it, Van Vanessa? Asking the more than 500 members there in shot right now to say, look, we're only going to take 100 of you, the rest of you to stay behind. It's a nightmare. And as far as organizing uh, something like this for leadership of the EFF and, of course, the police, who, as you say, are out in numbers. Yes, indeed, and I think that is the question at the moment. And all these supporters have come here, and I'm not quite sure whether they were under the impression that they would be allowed uh, to protest to the school as well. Um, I'm just going to try to go over to Mr. Damini at this point in time, if you'll excuse uh, the camera being a bit shaky there, uh, trying to understand exactly what these members of the EFF were told. Uh, because uh, they seem to be under the impression that all of them, that the entire crowd, will be allowed uh, to uh, make their way to the school. Of course, we've heard just now that only a hundred of them will be escorted. Um, let me try and see if I can get hold of Mr. Dlamini to speak to me. Um, Mr. Dlamini, good day to you. I'm Sir Vanessa Putin from the SABC. Um, we've had an altercation, a, 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 a conversation with the police just now. Can you tell yeah, we're fine, we're fine, we're, we're fine. The hundred members that are being allowed, what are you... No, 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 we're not speaking to the media now, we're fine. We'll speak to you later, we're fine. Relax, we're fine. We know what you're doing here. Of course, the response there is that uh, they will not speak to the media at this point, so it's uncertain as to whether an agreement now has been reached with all these members on which 100 will be selected if, if indeed uh, to be escorted by police uh, to uh, the front of Brockenville High School. Um, tried there, of course, to get us some comment, uh, but at this stage, uh, 
telling us that they uh, are not going to be speaking to the media at this point. But of course, uh, we watch and we wait, uh, and we see as uh, the clock ticks down to 12 o'clock uh, what indeed will happen. Uh, let me just try and see uh, whether we can get any uh, further comments. Uh, if we can just try and understand exactly what the As Vanessa Puna uh, gets us those live pictures there from uh, Brackenfell outside of Cape Town, we're seeing the leadership of the EFF, uh, Vianney Pambo, there in pictures as well with the Secretary General of the Economic Freedom Fighters that Mr. Marshall Lamini trying to sort out, as I said, something of a headache, as it were. The police saying they're only allowing 100 uh, people to march uh, through to Brackenfell High School to hand over that memorandum. As Vanessa Puna has been reporting for us throughout the morning, hundreds, in fact, she says, close to or just over five to 600 uh, supporters of the EFF are out there in Brackenfell. A show of force, as it were, especially after what many say was a bit of an embarrassment for them two weeks ago when they were outnumbered and assaulted by uh, residents of Brackenfell. Uh, many people saying those were teachers, but we've come to understand that some of those people were just no ordinary residents outside. Vanessa, they're just get, trying to get information, as I said, with regards to the leadership of the EFF. The problem is now, what do they do? Which hundred do they choose if the police are insisting that only 100 people would march on to hand over the memorandum? And of course, we heard from Marshal Zamini, the police have already agitated and inflamed the situation when they shot Rubber bullets, stun grenades, water grenades at those marchers who a lot of them, as we heard earlier speaking to us here on SABC News Channel, were peacefully sitting by, standing for that 12 o'clock countdown time when they would march to hand over their memorandum to Brackenfell High School. Vanessa, in as far as this is concerned, what is the tension like? I understand and we heard that Marshal Damini saying, look, we are fine, we've got everything under control. The mood around the area of Brackenfell now, we know that the EFF is there. We saw earlier, Vanessa, of the social media, some of the citizens of Brackenfell coming out saying, no, we want peace, we don't want any issues. One would say those were some of the fans or members of the community that did not care for peace if I can two just weeks ago. To and tell you that at this point, another group of EFF um, supporters are indeed making their way. Uh, they are being marshaled across, uh, as you can see, uh, with their banners in the regalia. They are coming this way and they are joining uh, the larger group that have already uh, gathered here uh, opposite the library as well as uh, the post office uh, in Brackenfell. Uh, they uh, seem quite a, a lively group. They have come here now, uh, joining the others and of course um, uh, unclear then which of this large group, uh, which 100 of them will indeed uh, be allowed uh, to um, to make the way to the school. I think the question you asked me, sorry about that, before no I interrupted worries. you there yes. just now, was what the mood was like um, in the area of Brackenfell. And uh, I would say that quite a number of concerned citizens, those who live here, uh, residents rather, if I can put it that way, um, have come out, some people wanting to see what's going on. Um, but we haven't as yet, I haven't as yet witnessed uh, any sort of scuffle between members of uh, the EFF, all residents at this point in time, you'll remember uh, that police had since early this morning cordoned off with, uh, with a barbed wire uh, roads around the school itself. So it's very difficult for any person uh, who, who is not a member of the media, for example, or who lives in the road to actually access Rockland Street uh, at this point in time because there are two uh, barbed wire uh, barricades that have been put up by police. So for by and large, um, residents as well as uh, this group of protesters have been kept uh, away from each other and that of course in anticipation uh, of following the clashes that we saw breaking out here uh, two weeks ago, police having said that they have an operational plan in place and that they will not allow uh, chaos to descend uh, outside the school again. Mm. Vanessa Puna, SABC News Senior Reporter, please keep your camera focused on the pictures. We will keep them live on our screens for our viewers. If there are any up updates, please do come back to us and we'll try and bring you the story as it happens as we continue here, setting the agenda for our viewers in South Africa and of course all our 
viewers across the continent. 52 countries is what watches this channel, SABC News channel. Vanessa Puna, SABC News senior reporter in Brackenfell in Cape Town, as I said, will try and keep those visuals for you so that if anything happens, we go back to Vanessa and get the latest in as far as that is concerned.